Hi, nice to see you again. Have you seen this fish? The shape of this fish has been the inspiration for the popular fictional monster called the bloop. This fish's name is Basking Shark. Cedar Highness Maximus is the second largest shark in the world and can be found in all oceans. Most of them are gray, in color, and have five large gill slits on either side of their heads. The most easily recognizable feature of the basking shark is its mouth, which, when opened wide, can reach almost 1.2 meters in size and is used to filter out microscopic prey on the surface of the ocean. This great shark is endangered with a declining population due to overfishing, hunting, getting entangled in fishing nets, and collisions with boats. From their unusual eating style to the ability to jump from the surface of the water, here are a few things you need to know about this incredible basking shark. The basking shark is the second largest shark in the world after the whale shark. Its length ranges from seven meters to eight meters, but the largest recorded basking shark has a length of more than 12 meters. Basking sharks weigh about four tons and males are larger than females. They can be found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean and Black Seas. This migratory shark has a wide range that includes both boreal and subtropical waters. The basking shark is a plankton eater. There are several types of sharks that do not eat meat and only eat plankton. Basking sharks are one of them. Basking sharks have hundreds of tiny teeth to help filter anything that enters their mouth, and they use their gills to push water out. Unlike the whale shark, the basking shark doesn't suck water. It just filters what flows into its open mouth. This giant shark is an animal that has a pungent smell. Its whole body is coated with mucus and sticky moss, which also doubles as a form of body protection from parasites. The basking shark is social, but only at certain times of the year and in certain areas of its range. Basking sharks are usually solitary or sometimes in pairs. But during the summer months in the northern part of their range, they will be in larger groups, groups that can contain hundreds of these sharks. Basking sharks have been observed traveling in their flocks, both of the same species and with individuals of the same size. Unlike other sharks, which can give birth to a large number of small children at the same time, the basking shark only has a few cubs of sufficient size. The mating period lasts one to three times per year and gives birth every four years, giving birth by the oviviviparous method. Basking sharks are capable of jumping out of the water. This is very impressive considering the large size of the basking shark and its ability to perform from a nearly horizontal position underwater. The basking shark jumps to the surface of the water to attract the attention of the opposite sexes. Formerly, this shark was called a sunfish. This name was given to this giant shark because it often appeared on the surface of the water. When the basking shark was first discovered, it was called a sunfish because of its appearance, which is often seen floating in the water, like basking in the sun. The species was renamed basking shark by marine scientists to distinguish it from marine sunfish. They move slowly along the surface of the water, which may look like they are basking in the sun. However, basking sharks are simply filtering food. Basking sharks follow their food, which is zooplankton. They travel north during the summer months and head south for winter when the plankton supply is low. They migrate to coastal areas to breed from May to July. They not only migrate over great distances, but also migrate vertically from sea level to depths of over 4,000 feet, 12, 19, 2 meters. 
When migrating, basking sharks move at a speed of 3.9 kilometers per hour, which is slightly faster than their speed at filtering food, which is about 3 kilometers per hour. Basking sharks have to move slowly in order for their filtering system to still operate. The basking shark is threatened with extinction, with its population continuing to decline. Because these sharks have a long gestation cycle and cannot reproduce until they are about 11 years old, they are very vulnerable to a continuous and rapid population decline. The basking shark has been hunted for centuries for its fins, liver, and oil. These large sharks are constantly hunted for their livers, which are rich in squalene, an ingredient often used in medicines and cosmetics. The demand for shark fin soup has led to overfishing of these fish, which are often accidentally caught in fishing nets. Because these sharks like to rise to the surface, collisions with ships are also often a threat to them. That's an explanation of the basking shark, one of the unique sharks that inhabit the ocean, and hopefully it will remain sustainable. And if you feel this video is useful for you, please support us by clicking the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.